everyone, I hope you are well. I am um, doing our homeschool update for December. Um, it was a really fun month for the first, I'd say, uh, two to three weeks of the month, but then, well, two and a half weeks. And then the third week, everyone got sick. So my husband got sick first. He'd actually booked to have his flu vaccination. He always gets flu vaccination every year because he goes to work on public transport and obviously gems everywhere so he always gets his vaccination he had his appointment booked and scheduled but he completely forgot his appointment so be before he was able to reschedule it attend his rescheduled appointment he got a cold in the <laughs> typical you know one of those things so then during that week when he was starting with his cold symptoms we went on two field trips which he came with and drove us so car confined space sneezing obviously it was inevitable so my daughter got sick next um I hesitate to say the flu because I think, you know, often we band it around too much, but she was wiped. She has never had a cold that bad. Um, so I'd say between an extremely bad cold and the flu, she was wiped for the first week. Um, after about the third day, well, she lost her voice completely, which has never happened before. After about the third day, she um, started She started with a cough, but it wasn't too bad. And about, after the third day, it turned to more like croup. She's never had croup before either, but it was at night time when it was the worst. So for that first week, um, she was waking up several times a night. It's like having a newborn, bless her. She was so not well at all. Um, and she frightened the life of me a couple of times when she was asleep, you know, not being able to catch her breath. That was terrifying. <clears throat> but, you know, I sat her up and everything else, um, propped her up and that really helped. But the, I think the first time that happened, I didn't sleep the rest of the night. I just like s sat there <laughs> watching to make sure she was okay because it literally terrified me um, to hear you know, her suddenly wake up in the night and not be able to breathe properly. Um, but with creep, as you know, it's literally you sit them up, calm them down, and they're usually fine, and that's what happened. Um, but it, it it was viral creep. It wasn't bacterial creep because it did clear after the three days the creep did. But her cold continued. Um, it was two and a half weeks later until she was, you know, sounding more normal. Um, so she really had a bad time with that virus. It was awful virus. And then obviously being in such close proximity to her, my daughter, I obviously got it next. Um, again, I, I didn't have the flu. I definitely didn't have the flu. I wouldn't say that at all, but it was a really bad cold. Um, but with my daughter, I would say she was teetering towards the flu because she was so wiped. Um, so with me... I just had a really bad cold, but then that developed into a sinus infection, um, and that has not been fun. I woke up with really, really bad toothache, and I was thinking, what? That doesn't make any sense. My tooth looks absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It was my rear upper tooth. I checked, you know, I've got a filling in it. The filling looks perfectly fine. No cracks, nothing else. And it was really strange toothache because it wasn't when I ate or bit anything. So I was thinking, this is really odd. And then with coupled with my other symptoms, so all the congestion and TMI, but, you know, the gross congestion... Um, that wasn't normal, um, it didn't look normal at all. Google always helps because it was Christmas time and I wasn't going to go to the doctor at Christmas time. Um, and all my symptoms were indicative of a sinus infection and apparently you get rear upper teeth toothache with a sinus infection because your brain gets confused where the pain's coming from. So all here on my face was all really sore on the side of my nose and that upper tooth. So that was not fun, <laughs> but you know, it was Christmas time, you know, you get on with these things, don't you push through. So fortunately my toothache has gone, so obviously it wasn't dental, I didn't think it was remotely. I just have a twinges occasionally, it was just the sinus infection pressure causing my tooth, my brain thinking it was my tooth hurting. I never knew that was possible, so thank you NHS Direct Google, because <laughs> that was the one who told me that it was completely normal to have toothache with um, a sinus infection, otherwise I probably would have made an appointment at the dentist. Um, yeah, so that's the tooth pain is mostly gone, and it was wasn't like toothache like your typical where you eat something and it hurts. It was like a real intense nerve toothache pain, um, which obviously was related to the sinus infection. So I was initially thinking maybe I have to go to the doctor because it wasn't going. Well, so it perhaps was bacterial, but it, the toothache is slowly subsiding to the point now it's barely there so I definitely think it's viral so I'm not going to go there's no point they can't give you an antibiotic for viral and you probably get more sick sat in the waiting room that's beautiful my daughter's playing on the keyboard um so yes yeah, so that's been fun but luckily we were on break so I didn't um we didn't miss any school we did miss the last week of fun school so because she was so wiped we didn't do any of the things that I planned that week but we'd already done our you know lots of our fun things we've done our fun field trips we, you know she just missed those last five days of where we were going to do fun crafts and everything else. We'd done some already, but we, I had planned a few more that week, but she was so sick we didn't. Um, 
but yeah thankfully we've been sick over the break in terms of we haven't missed any school so that was good uh, we're ready to go back next week so we go back on the 6th everything else for school wise in the first um a couple of weeks has been fine we have i mentioned in my video that i posted the other day that we have we're trying out a new spelling curriculum this year um we are trying building spelling by ever more um so i'll let you know how that goes um i've also been planning what we're going to do to start off the this week so i've done all our work boxes we're ready to go um we're just going back right into it we're, we're not doing a slow start or anything like that we're just you know doing our normal stuff and um, lots of fun things as well. So in January, the RSPB is doing a bird watch. So we signed up to, for that. So basically for two days, you watch what birds you can see. They send you a pack and everything else. That's going to be fun. So if you're in the UK, don't forget to sign up for that. Um, see the garden bird watch. We're also going to be starting up our horse unit study, uh, continuing with that. And our, also our RSPCA study that we started prior to the Christmas. Um, so that's all our extra curricular stuff. Um, she'll be doing her horse riding lessons again. Um, we took a break over the Christmas period because obviously we had some different field trips and everything else. So she'll be starting that back up again. Um, I'm going to sign her up for her keyboarding lessons, which I'm really excited for. Um, she is having so much fun with her keyboard. Mid-year, mid well not mid-year, but you know, first term assessment. So for myself, not for her. Um, you know, just going through my my bullet journal, which I, I'm pretty sure I made a video on I did. Um, showing you how I how track our year so I, I went through that over the holidays to make sure we're on track for everything and we are so that's good we haven't fallen behind for anything not that that's anything to worry about because you can always easily catch up with homeschool you can you have the flexibility um to do your own schedule but we are on track so that's great uh, there isn't much more to update really because it was december was such a funny month in terms of um how we do a lot of christmas activities and field trips and everything else um and a sickness which wasn't fun but i hope you all had a lovely christmas if you celebrate and happy new year um i hope you are uh starting out the new year with some enthusiasm and excitement in your home school um i'm really excited to get back into it my daughter actually said the other day she's really excited to start home school again um because obviously we have been off for the past two weeks um and the first thing we're doing in our language arts study is a report for for dogs which is for torchlight and she's so so excited um to do she's already picked that she's going to do pugs for her report on dogs uh, which is part of torchlight uh, language arts and yeah i'm just really excited to get going i can't wait to see her little report that she does oh the december daily was so fun um i mentioned in one of my christmas videos we we're going to be doing a december daily we did religiously stick to it apart from that last week when she was really sick so we need to finish that this weekend um before we go back to school so it's all nice and done uh, but it looks so cute and she was so creative with her idea she did all the little lift the flap things and everything and i'm looking at mine and mine's like you know um scrapbook paper and stuff and i'm looking at hers and i'm thinking why wow, you're so creative with a little lift the flaps and kids come up with the most amazing things and that was completely none of my idea whatsoever i just let, let her loose and just said here's your here's all your stuff you can have whatever you want out of this pile and she you know she did it all by herself um, I did mine at the same time and you know, I'd see a peek over and see what I was doing and then she'd do her own but I tell you what hers is way better than mine <laughs> but the sprocket was so cool though the little HP sprocket printing out our little pictures so I need to catch up with those and print off the rest of them um, to stick in but is there anything else to update? Should I talk about goals for the new year? Maybe this is video is super long I know you don't like long videos um, my goal my, I haven't got goals in terms of well I suppose I have but it's more of the word of the year and that's for me is learn so there's certain things I want to learn throughout 2020 um, which are really exciting because I always think as an adult you should continue lifelong learning so I'm really excited to take on those opportunities and challenges um, yeah um, just lots of curriculum planning now that's what I'm doing um, I will do a couple of videos actually you know my process and everything else of what I do with curriculum planning and that'll be coming in the next video so i'll see you soon take care bye for now